Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG E63S sedan, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. While the almighty 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG E63S costs a lot more than most sedans, it also costs a lot less than a rocket ship. If you've ever wanted to be an astronaut, but you're also afraid of heights, the AMG E63S is the perfect way to satisfy your cravings for rocket ship acceleration without high-flying thrills. The comparison is valid because the E63 basically turns any road into a launch pad every time its 603 horsepower twin turbo V8 powertrain and tenacious all-wheel drive system are unleashed. Pair that with razor sharp handling and a roaring exhaust note to create one of the most muscled up four-door cars on the planet. Of course, its elegant cabin and high-tech features live up to the brand's luxury sedan billing. While the 2020 E63S is more car than most people need, Mercedes-AMG ensures that investment is worth every penny. Not too much has changed mechanically for the 2020 model year, but the previously optional AMG Performance Exhaust is now standard. This enhances the new and more aggressive startup sound called Emotion Start, while a steering wheel with more upholstery options now includes a digital drive mode selector. Also new is a matte fiberglass trim option for the interior, Finally, a slippery drive mode is also new and helps maintain traction in tricky conditions like a downpour. Other than its shockingly powerful twin turbo V8, it's hard to justify spending more than six figures on the 2020 E63S, especially when the Mercedes AMG E53 costs more than $30,000 less. Still, people who can afford the E63 clearly want the most extreme E-Class on the market, and that's exactly what they'll get. Every model, whether you get the E53 or the E63, uh, has legit performance equipment and luxury features out of the box. But, you know, this building price is about the E63S, and even though it's awesome, even though it's awesome out of the box, I'd sweeten the pot with the exterior lighting package for optimal nighttime visibility. I'd keep my hands and body toasty with the warmth and comfort package, and upgrade the rest of the interior with the acoustic comfort package, add the three-zone climate control, the heated rear seats, the head-up display, the soft closed doors, and the massaging front seats. As in other E-Class models, the E63's interior is made of high-quality materials that are pieced together with care and craftsmanship. Largely devoid of buttons, the E63's dashboard is anchored by a row of knurled aluminum switches <clears throat> for adjusting the standard dual-zone automatic climate control system. A chunky three-spoke steering wheel features a flat bottom and a pair of big paddle shifters. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG E63S sedan. What we're going to do is we're going to go through this gallery here. We're actually sitting at the beginning of the gallery photo uh, images. We're going to go through the gallery, so we'll see images of the E63S and the E53. Uh, so we'll go and we'll check out the exterior photos and the interior photos. Then we'll learn about the different features, suspension features, performance features, the engine, uh, uh, technology features, safety features, learn about the different packages that are available uh, for the E63S, learn about what the standard equipment is for the E63S, and all that there. Now, before we actually jump into that, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other videos. This E63 competes with other cars like the BMW M5 and the Cadillac CTS-V. I've done build and price reviews of cars that compete with this 2020 uh, Mercedes-Benz AMG E63. And I put all those links in the description below. So make sure that after you watch this video, you check out some of my other ones, like the 2020 BMW M5 Competition. That is the most direct competitor to this AMG sedan. Uh, here, now we'll go through the, the gallery images. We can see uh, they're showing the optional carbon ceramic brakes. You can always tell a Mercedes with carbon ceramic brakes because it always has, the caliper is always gold. Unless somebody painted it, of course, unless they painted them. But the standard ones come with red caliper. We can see this center Mercedes here. We can see that in that wheel, there's a red caliper there. Yeah, that's the way it normally comes. There's a nice shot of the front end and a matte finish. Here's a nice shot of the carbon fiber um, uh, spoiler. Here's one out on the road, probably Wall Street somewhere. Here's one going down the road, looking quite nice. This one might be an E53, like I said. They're going to show us a mix and match of uh, E53 and E63 uh, images, but they look very closely related. 
Uh, this one says Turbo4Matic. That's probably the uh, E53. Either way, the interior is gorgeous. huh? The two big dual 12.3-inch screens, your infotainment screen, and then your digital instrument cluster. Uh, you've got, and it's just beautiful. you got a lot of ambient lighting down here. It's a very nice cabin, that. Uh, here's a nice shot of your engine. That might be the E53's engine, but an engine nonetheless. Look at the seats. These got to be the performance seats. They are hot sauce, buddy. They are the bee's knees. They look great. Love the leather stitch dashboard. Love that Alcat. I love the um, carbon fiber inlay on for your for your uh, for your interior trim. I'm all if if, in, if carbon fiber is available, I'm all about the carbon fiber these days versus wood, especially if I'm getting a sport appearance package on, on a vehicle. Uh, and then we can see a little ambient lighting there showing down there. Uh, here's your AMG door sills, illuminated door sills. Mmm, buddy, there it is right there. Gorgeous digital. Uh, Digital uh, um, <laughs> digital speedometer. That's the name of it. Digital speedometer. And man, look at that uh, digital instrument cluster. Surely reconfigurable to all kinds of different layouts, and you probably even customize it. Here's a nice shot of the interior from a different perspective, and a nice close-up shot of the seats, and, and another shot of perspective. Is this out on a track, a new track mode, and they're telling you different sectors and your race times? That's kind of cool. What person with their with their hundred thousand dollar Mercedes is going to be doing that? Probably not very many, but the features there. It, a lot of that stuff's gimmicky. They know that a lot of people aren't going to use that, but it's a selling tool, really, because people want to have the fastest, most performance, whatever. That doesn't mean they're ever going to use it. Doesn't mean they're ever going to use it. Look at that multi-function uh, steering wheel. There's a lot going on. You got buttons over here on the right. You got buttons over here on the left. Then down at the bottom. You got a little dial down here, and I think this controls your sport comfort and, and sport plus settings for your driving dynamics. And I don't know what this little thing is over here on the left because we really can't get a good shot of it. At any rate, looks like we've gone through all the slides. So let's move on and start learning about the features. And then at the end of that, we'll actually do our build and price of our E63S sedan. All right, so let's let's find out. Let's just start going through features here. So first feature, uh, nine-speed transmission. So apparently the E63 and the E53 have a nine-speed uh, uh, oh uh, transmission. Yeah, a nine-speed transmission. <laughs> I was kind of reading this at the same time. They go AMG Speed Shift TCT and then AMG Speed Shift. So they've got two different things kind of going on there. So the a AMG Speed Shift TCT, well, I guess they do have different transmissions. They're both nine-speed transmissions. But in the in the E63, it's an AMG Speed Shift MCT, okay, and then in the E53, it's an AMG uh, Speed Shift TCT, uh, and they I guess both offer uh, multiple modes and direct multi gear downshift. Speaking of those modes, here they're talking about those modes right here: the AMG Performance Formatic, and either 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 trim E53 or E63. Uh, yeah, they can, this thing has a very, uh, AMG centered, uh, formatic four wheel drive system. So it can be a hundred percent rear wheel drive, but it can also shift that traction when it needs to. There's also that dynamic select mode that lets you say, they say dial in shifting. And on the E63S, there's a drift mode, which locks in rear wheel drive. Why you want to do that hooliganism stuff? I don't know. I get it. Everybody seems to think that's the coolest thing since sliced bread. Me, I could care less about any of that stuff. But it's a feature, and it's really a marketing feature because it sells. Because, again, it's kind of like that racetrack mode. Most people that own one of these cars are not going to be doing any burnouts and spinning the tires. If they do, it's gonna, it'll certainly be an accident. Here they're talking about the AMG Sport Suspension with air body control. And, of course, those uh, driving modes, those dynamic select modes there. So there's your suspension set up in your air suspension really they've got another slide so i guess this is both cars uh that's probably the e53 right here and based on those wheels they're certainly larger this is probably the e63 uh amg sport suspension with uh airmatic body control so yeah here's your e63 drivetrain or whatever right here here's a nice shot of those digital instrument cluster right the the reconfigurable 12.3 inch digital instrument panel with exclusive ANG performance readouts. Yeah, that must be without that screen and all that. Uh, deeply bolstered seats, thick flat bottom steering wheel, 
da 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 da. Yeah, it's gorgeous in there to be sure. And you got that high-end uh, IWC clock that's right down there in the center as well. They never talk about the clock, but the clocks are cool. Okay, here we got it. They're talking about the wheels. So if you get the E53, standard wheel size is 19-inch wheels. And if you get the E63, the standard wheel is 20-inch uh, wheel. But it says each model offers multiple 20-inch wheel options. So even if you did get the E53 that has a starting price of what? What was it? $73,000? we will check that out in just a second. $73,000. Now, you can, still, you can still get the bigger wheels on them. It says all of them highlight the aggressive AMG bodywork, big AMG brakes, including those ceramic composite option for the E63. So the E53, you cannot put these big old anywhere from I think they're about eight or $10,000, eight to $10,000 uh, brake option, which the E53 just doesn't need. And real quick, so yeah, the E53 has a starting MSRP of seventy three thousand eight hundred dollars. It's got four hundred twenty nine horse, three hundred eighty four pound feet of torque. It's got a three liter inline six turbo with EQ Boost. EQ Boost is Mercedes electrification. I actually did a big article on that on my website. I'll put a link to that article in the description below, along with those other reviews of cars that compete with the E63. Uh, and then the E63S is 107350 uh, And for that big price jump, you get a, a you get a, a whole second, basically, a second and change, knocked off your 0 to 60 acceleration time. Now you got 603 horse, and you got 627 pound-feet of torque. Now that is a 4-liter V8 twin turbo, 4-liter V8 built by AMG. Okay, so we got the general overview of the east of the of the AMG E Class chassis body. Now we can get a little bit deeper in it. We can find out about the colors. We can go over these exterior colors, and we can find out about the features. And so let's do that now. We're gonna go over the exterior colors. We're gonna find out about the features. We're gonna find out about the packages. We'll check a few specs, and then we'll do the build and price. Unfortunately, the screen's a little small, but we can check out all these exterior paint colors. So this exterior paint color here is called Designio Selenite Gray Magno. I mean, what a mouthful to say this is some flat paint. Some flat paint that you have to that has a special process so you don't ruin it uh, and all of that. I, I'm not really a fan of those flat black or those matte paint colors. Here's your Designio Diamond White Metallic. Classically, this is my favorite Mercedes color. I have done quite a few Mercedes Benz build and price reviews, and a lot of them are in white. <laughs> I'll put a link to my to my Mercedes playlist in the description below. I've also put a link to my high performance sedan playlist in the description below. I have over I have 84 videos, 84 high performance sedan videos, build and price reviews. Uh, okay, so the Zinio Cardinal Red that looks pretty good. We've got here's that here's that selenite gray metallic, but not my, but not the matte. Then we have Luna blue metallic, that doesn't look too bad. We've got uh, iridium silver, okay, doesn't look bad. Uh, obsidian black, might do ours in black, I think. Polar white, and then you got just a flat black. I think we might just do ours in just black. I think it looks good. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to check some specifications, key features, packages, and then the warranty and services. So here's some specifications for the vehicle. Uh, the wheelbase is 115.7 inches. The overall length of this vehicle is 196.4 inches. Overall width of this vehicle is 81.3 inches. Uh, and the overall uh, height of the 2020 uh, AMG E63 S sedan is 56.6 inches. Uh, feature highlights... Five passenger seating. I'm not going to go over the engine stuff. Uh, cargo capacity is 13.1 cubic feet. Fuel economy is 15 miles to the gallon in the city and 23 miles to the gallon on the highway. We kind of already mentioned the exterior dimensions. So real quick, let's just go over some interior dimensions. Just the basic ones, honestly. Front headroom, 37.3 inches. Uh, front shoulder room, 57.8 inches. Rear headroom is 38.2 inches. You actually get a little more headroom in the back. Uh, and you only use, lose a little bit of shoulder room in the back, 57.1 versus 57.8. Leg room in the front is 41.7 inches. And leg room in the rear is 36.2 inches. Cargo capacity, we already went over that, 13.1 cubic feet. Okay, so those were our general specs. And now let's talk about uh, key uh, features. So let's talk about key performance features. So standard is that handcrafted 
AMG <clears throat> four liter V8 engine, right? Makes a bunch of horsepower, uh, 603 horse. It makes a thunderous 627 pound feet of torque at 2500 RPMs, and it holds that max torque to 4500 RPMs. Uh, the engine, it has twin turbos. Those turbos sit down in the V. They're twin scroll turbos that sit inside the V of the engine, and that helps with near, and that's going to help reduce uh, turbo lag. And they say there's near zero pressure loss or turbo lag. So, we're, this, again, this is the engine, the performance uh, key features. You got the Camtronic AMG cylinder management, so it can deactivate cylinders in low load conditions to boost efficiency. Uh, there's also those dynamic modes, right? The comfort mode, uh, performance mode, all that kind of stuff. Surely there's, uh, surely the car has a stop-start technology as well. Here they're talking about the nano slide cylinder wall technology, uh, which you know friction, friction and heat is the destroyer of engines. So this, the word nano slide, probably without even knowing anything about it, that's going to tell you how they're trying to help reduce friction, right? There you go. All right, so yeah, those were our key standard features for performance. So let's move on. So then we have design. So let's find out the key design features. Exclusive AMG body styling. Uh, standard is the sensual purity of design. Now they're just getting into talking about stuff. They're just basically talking about the design elements of the car, honestly. Uh, optional is the deletion of deck lid badges. So if you want E63S to not show up on there and all that, then you can have that deleted off the car at no extra charge. Optional, you can also delete the front engine badges as well. All right, so no big deal there. They're not really saying anything. So we did all that to learn that they didn't really say anything. Let's see if they have something more to say about safety. I'm sure they will. So standard is car to x communication. So every new E-Class can automatically alert a central notification system. And so car to x is where cars can communicate with each other. And here's the Mercedes-Benz cloud. I guess it's other Mercedes-Benz vehicles can connect to or talk to each other. Standard is Mercedes-Benz emergency uh, call SOS system. Standard is the active brake assist. Uh, standard is attention assist. You know, if you're getting drowsy kind of thing. I mentioned this attention assist stuff because I've noticed other manufacturers like, oh, Hyundai, Kia, things like that. Everybody's trying to jump on this bandwagon of this whole drowsy assist thing. And I often say in other videos, hey, Mercedes has been doing this since the 90s, honestly, or at least the early 2000s. I, I remember it from at least the early 2000s. They might have been doing it sooner than that. But I remember the early S-Class from circa 2000 uh, had this attention assist in there. Okay, let's talk about key luxury features. Uh, we've got uh, standard power front seats with memory. We've got optional AMG performance front seats. We're getting those bad boys. Uh, standard dual zone climate control. And we're going to get tri-zone so people in the back can control theirs too. Here's a nice shot of the, the switch gear that looks really good. Anyway, there's, yeah, the optional three-zone automatic climate control. We're all over that. Uh, standard power front seats with memory. Okay, I think we went through all of that. Let's check out the multimedia. Uh, what are they going to tell us? There's standard 12.3-inch high-resolution central display. That's for all your entertainment, your navigation, your convenience features, your vehicle settings. All of that there. Uh, here's your command, your scroller wheel, how you navigate through all the menus and stuff like that. This is the command system with touchpad controller. Da 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 da. And it's very attractive. I like the way it looks. Standard steering wheel with touch control buttons. And standard command navigation uh, using GPS technology. It's a 12.3 inch screen. So, yeah, that's all there. So, we went through all those key features performance, design, safety, luxury, and multimedia. Let's learn about some of these packages. Okay, so here they're talking about this exterior lighting package, and it's $800, and it comes with uh, LED intelligent light system headlamps and adaptive high beam assist. It's $800. Then they've got that warmth and comfort package. I talked about getting that. It's $1,050, and it comes with rapid heating uh, front seats. Awesome. Uh, heated front armrests. Awesome. And heated steering wheel. Got to have that bad boy. That's $1,050. Then there's the sun protection package. It's $800. It comes with uh, the manual rear window sunshades. And it comes with a power rear window sunshade. It's $800. There's the energizing comfort package. It's $550. It comes with three things. It's got the energizing comfort, uh, air balance cabin air purification system, and an air balance cabin fragrance system. That's that's $550. Then you got a driver assistance package. 
this is all your safety tech. This is all your safety tech for $2,250. You got to get this. This is all your safety tech. So this is your active uh, distance assist distronic, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, active blind spot assist. They throw the whole thing at you for this. Active lane keeping assist. We got to get this bad boy. Part of getting a new car is having the safety technology. Active lane change assist. Uh, active brake assist with cross traffic function. Congestion emergency braking. I mean, it's a lot. Active emergency stop assist. Active speed limit assist. Pre safe impulse side. It's worth mentioning that the word active means that the system will intervene if you don't. The word active does mean that. Pre safe, not that I'm stopping to talk about these because you could actually pause if you want to read all these. Pre safe think, knows when a, uh, an accident's imminent and it starts preparing the car for an accident. Uh, you got pre safe plus and you got route, route based speed adaption. And last but not least, you have extended restart and stop and go traffic. I mean, that's a mouthful. That's a lot of safety features for $2,250. It's actually kind of a bargain. The last package, because the rest of these packages are like prepaid maintenance and junk, the last actual package is they have the driver assist package for AMG with the performance seats. Okay, so for whatever reason, they had to bundle the, if you get the performance seats, they had to do that in two different ways. So we're not going to go over that again. It looks to be the same stuff. It's just, if you want the AMG performance seats, which we do, it's still the same price, but they, they had to bundle that into another package for whatever reason. Okay, last but not least, uh, yeah, prepaid maintenance stuff. We don't get into that stuff. There's Mercedes-Benz warranties. Uh, you could certify pre-owned this car if you wanted to uh from the standard 48 month 50,000 mile new vehicle warranty so once that that reaches that you can get a cpo if you wanted to uh repair and service da 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 they're just talking about their expert service and uh, service and collision centers blah 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 blah. all right they didn't really say anything i don't even know why i stopped down here because they didn't say anything all right we've gone through everything let's actually go do the building price Okay, so I said I was just going to stick with the basic black color, and I mean that. We're just going to stick with the basic black. I'm okay with that. Now, I said I wanted a few things. Now, I think I do like that exterior lighting package. I'm really about that exterior lighting package. You've got to have the LED lights and adaptive high beam assist. Why not? Panoramic roof, I can skip over that. AMG exterior carbon fiber package 1 and carbon fiber package 2. I'm probably going to get those because... That's going to give us all those little carbon fiber bits. And that stuff's expensive, and you don't get a whole bunch of it, but I don't care. I really don't. I just, oh, I guess you don't have to do one or two. Well, what does the one give you? Uh, furthering. Yeah, it says furthering. So you're going to need both. You're going to need both. You need both. So we're going to spend a lot of money in carbon fiber. We got the AM, we've got the uh, exterior lighting package. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, I do like the AMG Crest LED logo projector lights when you open the door. It's cheesy, but I want it for $275. I think the Illuminated Star is cool, but I know that when you throw the safety tech in, they have to remove that Illuminated Star thing. I do know that much, so we're not even going to bother with it. Uh, as far as wheels are concerned, those are not my favorite AMG wheels. I can look across this and say, I don't think any of the wheels look hot, to be honest with you. None of these wheels do it for me. To be quite honest with you, none of them do it for me. So with that said, and I normally don't do this, I'm going to go all black on black. So we're going to go with the 20-inch uh, AMG Forge cross-spoke matte black wheels for $1,700. So we've already racked up like $7,000 worth of options. Because the, t the start for the build, the, the base price of the car is $107,000. Now we're sitting at $114,000. So we're on page one, and we already racked up 7 Gs. But it should be we shouldn't be doing that from uh, here on out. All right, so here's a shot of the interior. Let's choose our trim. We're going to stick with the uh, black leather. I'm fine with that. I told you that I like carbon fiber. We're going to go with the carbon fiber inlay. It's just under $3,000. I said that I want to get the warmth and comfort package in the intro, so we got to make sure that we get the warmth and comfort package. It's $1,050. Got to have those features, heated front seat and all that there. Uh, then they have different steering wheels that you might want. I'm okay with that. I do want the AMG performance seats, however. We're definitely going to get the AMG performance seats. Oh, but to get the AMG performance seats, we've got to remove the warmth and comfort package. Fine. Fine. We'll remove the warmth and comfort package. I'm that hardcore. We might be able to a la carte some of that stuff, uh, later. So we'll see. It, it, all is not lost. So we got the performance seats. 
Uh, we've got the carbon fiber trim. And yeah, let's move on to interior and convenience. So the sun protection package is your side, is your uh, window shades. I want that. I don't care about the comfort package. Well, the comfort package is okay. The comfort package is okay. Why not have the air balance system and all that? Why not? Uh, the three zone automatic climate control. Yes. Um, let's see. That I have heated rear seats as an a la carte. Can we get the rapid heating front seats as an a la carte? Uh, yes, we, no, we can't because we'd have to remove the AMG. So we, the performance seats just do away with the whole heated seat thing. You're just not going to get it, but let's do the soft closed doors. Okay. We got the three zone climate control. I do want the heads up display. I did say that. So I guess we're not going to get the heated seats. I guess we're not going to get the heated seats. And even though I'm into the high end sound system stuff, as much money as we've already got into this car, not that I'm being overly mindful of it, but it's on my mind. I don't think we need to spend another $4,500 on, on the Burmester high-end sound system. I bet you the regular sound system sounds cracking. Here's They're showing some of the key standard features down here. Let me just scroll up make sure we got everything. Everything looks good. Now we're sitting at 123000 Boy, we ramped it up quick, boy. I mean quick. Let's move on to performance and safety features. Got to get that driver assistance package for the AMG seats. Um, I love the wheel locks. It's cheap insurance. We're definitely, I said eight to $10,000 on those ceramic brakes, didn't I? And they're $89.50. We're going to skip those carbon ceramic brakes. The AMG carbon fiber engine cover. We don't really need that, do we? Nay, we don't need that. Here's more key standard features. Let's move on. Service and care. Uh, that's that prepaid maintenance stuff. We're not doing any of that, but we will buy the all season floor mats. All right, that's it. I guess we can't a la carte the heated steering wheel. So that it is what it is. It is what it is. So life for this vehicle started at 107000 and we ramped it up to $126,000. All right, so there it is. Uh, the 2020 uh, Mercedes-Benz AMG E63 S sedan. It's a cool car. It's $126,000. It's a lot of money. I mean, sometimes it's cool. Cars like this are great. They really, really are. Uh, and it's awesome. The craftsmanship's great, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but sometimes it just gets a little old. Uh, the super, super expensive car, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, you expect all of this, this level of performance and all that. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't take all that, I think. Really great car, though. I'm not taking away from it. I don't know if I like the Cadillac CTS-V or the BMW M5 better. I used to be a, a Mercedes AMG guy, especially E-Class. But now, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, The car is nice, but I'm indifferent about it. Honestly, I'm indifferent about it. Nice car. I'd certainly drive it around. But I might prefer a BMW M5 or a Cadillac CTS-V or an Audi RS7 Sportback. Uh, but like I said, check out those videos because all those cars I just mentioned, I did build and price reviews of those cars. And I put the links in the description below. So make sure you check that out. So I think we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG E63 S sedan helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like share and subscribe to my channel other than that i'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the very next video